Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Jupyter Notebook with your Visual Studio code on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you need to install Anaconda on your Mac operating system. So let's see how we can install Anaconda. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Anaconda. And the first link which will appear here will be from anaconda.com. So we are going to click on this link. So on this main page, you can read more about Anaconda distribution. For downloading Anaconda, click on this free download link here, which is going to redirect you to the anaconda.com forward slash downloads URL. Here you will be able to see the download button for Mac OS. Now here, when you click on this uh, arrow drop down menu, you have two options for the Anaconda distribution. If you are using Mac OS with the Intel processor, then you can use the first option. If you are using Mac OS with Apple Silicon chip like M1, M2 or M3, you can click on the second option, which is download for Mac M1, M2, M3. I have M2 chip on my Mac OS, so I'm going to select the second option here, which is download for Mac M1, M2, M3, which is going to start the download of this .pkg file. It's around 742 megabyte file, so it'll take some time to download. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this uh, anaconda.pkg file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this .pkg file and let me minimize the browser. Now this is the first window which will appear when you try to open this .pkg file, which is going to show you this kind of warning, which says this package will run program to determine if the software can be installed. I'm going to click on allow here, which is going to start the Anaconda installer. At this point, you have this introduction section. So I'm going to click on the continue button. On the next window, you will see some important information about Anaconda. So you can read this uh, information. And uh, once you are done, click on continue. The next window will show the software license uh, agreement window. So you can read about this software license and then click on continue. And then if you agree with the license terms and conditions, click on agree, which is going to show you the installation type. Now here it says this will take around 4.81 GB of space on my computer. I'm okay with this. So I'm going to click on install button, which is going to start the installation of Anaconda. Now at this point, I just need to wait for some time until uh, this uh, installation is finished. And now I can see after a few seconds, the installation was successful and you can see the Anaconda launcher is being launched. And then you will see uh, these kind of windows. Now when uh, Anaconda starts for the first time, it's going to show you this kind of Anaconda navigator. And if uh, this M Anaconda recognizes that you have some older version of Anaconda, it's going to uh, encourage you to update your Anaconda. So here you can see, do you wish to update to the newest version? For now, I don't want to do it, but you can press on yes and then install the latest version of Anaconda. I'm going to click on remind me later so I can do it later also. So this is how uh, this Anaconda Navigator looks like. And at this point, I can also click on continue here. And it says code with the Anaconda in cloud. I will click on continue. And then I'm going to click on close, which is going to uh, finish the installation of Anaconda. So we don't need this PKG uh, installer anymore. So we can click on move to bin, which is going to move the installer to the bin. Now, once you have Anaconda installed, you need to open the terminal and then run this command to activate the required kernel for the Jupyter Notebook. And the command is conda install IPY kernel and then press enter, which is going to start the installation of this package. And in the process of installation, it's going to ask you to proceed and just press Y here and then press enter, which is going to finish the installation of this IPY kernel. Once this IPY kernel package is installed via Conda, we are ready to get started with 
Jupyter Notebook with our Visual Studio Code Editor. So let me close this terminal and open the VS Code. And once the VS Code opens, you need to go to the Extensions section here and then search for Python. And if you haven't already installed this Python extension, just install this. So this is the first result which will appear when you search for Python here. And you can see it has been downloaded around 107 million times. So it's a official extension from Microsoft for Python on Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to click on install here, which is going to install this extension. Once this extension is installed, you can see uh, this disable button and uninstall button here. This extension also includes the support for Jupyter Notebook and that's why we have installed this extension. So once this Python extension is installed, we need to install one more extension for Jupyter Notebook and that is called Jupyter. Okay, so search for Jupyter here and then click on Jupyter and this extension is also from Microsoft. I'm going to click on install here and it's going to also install the Jupyter Notebook. And once the installation is finished, you will be able to see the disable or uninstall button here. So install Python extension and the Jupyter extension. Once these two extensions are installed, we are going to go to the Explorer and then let's open a new folder here. So let me open my documents folder and, and here I have this notebooks folder in which I'm going to create my Jupyter Notebooks. So I'm going to click on add, which is going to add this folder in my Visual Studio Code. So let me close this window. So now inside this folder, we are going to create a new Jupyter Notebook file. So I'm going to name my file as test.ipynb, which is the extension for Jupyter Notebook, and then press enter. And Visual Studio Code is going to recognize that we are trying to create the Jupyter Notebook. So it's going to create this kind of interface which is similar to Jupyter Notebook on the browser. Also it's going to show you this kind of notification which says we noticed you are using Conda environment if you are experiencing issue with the environment in the integrated terminal. We recommend that Python extension should be installed this one right. So, so for now I'm going to just collapse this notification and here in this test.ipynb uh, file, you can see I can add a markdown or the code cell using these options. But first of all, I need to select the kernel. So just click on this select kernel option and then you will be able to see the existing uh, Jupyter server here or you will also see the Python environments here. Okay, so I'm going to click on Python environments and then I'm going to select the Anaconda environment. So whatever option says Anaconda, just select that option. And then you can see the base uh, Python 3.11.5 is selected here. Okay, so once that's selected, let's uh, first start with the markdown. So I'm going to change this uh, cell type to markdown and then I'm going to add some headings. So for example, my first notebook here and then I'm going to click on this run button which is going to execute this cell and you can see the output here. Now in order to add the new cell you can click on this uh, plus code so it's going to add a code cell if you want to add a markdown it's going to add a markdown cell. So let me click on plus button here and then let's uh, just uh, evaluate some python uh, code. So for example 5 plus 5 now in this case, I'm going to press uh, this option which says execute cell and below and it's going to just print me the output which is 10, which is correct, right? So in this way, you can keep on adding the code cell or markdown cell or any other cell. So let me once again add the code cell here and you can even change the type of cell. So you can add the Python, markdown, batch, HTML, so all these options are available for the cell here, right? Let me print something for example, so I'm going to just uh, type print and then I'm going to just print hello world. And this time I'm going to click on this button which says run by line 
and it's going to open this kind of debug console here right so if you want to uh, open the debug console then it's going to open this kind of debug console here and then i can move or continue the execution from here okay you can also open the terminal or the jupyter option here and you will be able to see the variable values if you have declared some variables and then and move forward to the next line for example if the variable have some value you will be able to see the values there also you can just come out of this uh, debug by just pressing on this stop cell execution button and then it says keyboard interruption so we have uh, just stopped this so it's showing us the keyboard interruption option. I can also delete the cell by clicking on this delete cell button, which is going to delete the cell, right? So this is how you can add the support for Jupyter Notebook in your Visual Studio Code Editor. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.